Good morning, everybody on the internet. This is Blind Justice coming at you live on the streets of Aberdeen, Washington, sitting outside of City Hall once again. We got day 22 of our peaceful protest. Resting is not a crime. And just wanted to speak to you on the the ordinances that we've been protesting, and maybe give a little more perspective on um, the ordinances. So there's two of them: six six two six, six six two seven. And the 261 is on the sit lie, which, which basically the city council and the mayor um, have made it illegal for people to sit or lie down on public sidewalks in the downtown area between 6 a.m. and 11 p.m. And then the 27, Ordinance 6627, is uh, they've tried to make it illegal for people to panhandle, you know, to ask for money or assistance at specific areas around the city, like around uh, banks, ATMs, um, and in a couple parking lots, like the Safeway parking lot, the Walmart parking lot. So, there's been discussion about equality, right? And justice, and hence, you know, the blind justice. And we've talked about justice uh, off and on, and how that word could mean fairness or equity, right? Equality. And, and there's also misnomers on that, and we're trying to debunk the misnomers, right? So, equality, if, if we just want to talk about equality of opportunity, because I think everybody believes in equality of opportunity, for the most part, right? That everyone, we should all have equal opportunity, not necessarily just hand out everything equally, you know, just divide up the goods equally, um, but equal opportunity, that everyone has fair uh, chance to get whatever they want. Um, okay. So let's, let's, let's evaluate the ordinances with equal opportunity as our lens, okay? So we're looking at it with that lens. So the best way that I've been able to really understand this and frame this is through segregation. So that's hence the title of this video, New Segregation Laws. So the intent uh, has been real vague from the council people. They said three different things uh, throughout the three plus four, well, I guess it's been six weeks or so that we've been trying to dialogue with them about these things. And one of them was they want to make it easier to, for cops to enforce laws. Second one was they want to address some behavior, but they're, they're real vague on what behavior they're trying to address. When we try to ask for specific behavior, they list behaviors that already have ordinances prohibiting that behavior <laughs> and then uh, the third one was to, to essentially help people feel safe right it's like okay well what people exactly are we talking about that aren't feeling safe and I think that's a, a common goal everybody wants people to feel safe so the the solution is to segregate out unwanted people or people doing unwanted behavior um, from a targeted area, the downtown area, or the business improvement district, or whatever language you want to use for that. So they, they're they essentially wanting only specific kinds of people doing specific kind of behavior, even if it's the same behavior. So if some of the behavior they said was drinking in public and getting drunk, well, there's sidewalk cafes and bars downtown that serve alcohol. And they're encouraged, people are encouraged to go and, and patronize these places, right? And drink alcohol in public, and some may get drunk. So, obviously it's not that behavior, right? Uh, it's not even getting loud because people get loud when they drink. So, it's, it's segregation, it's, it's undesirables, whatever that is, you know? People that maybe look different, smell different, uh, are less than, trying to move them in out of the specific area, segregate them to a different location. What location? I don't know. They don't have a plan for that. If they do, they haven't made those plans known to the public. So, so let's talk about the equal opportunity thing then um, and, and address, is this equal opportunity? Well, if, we, if you're familiar with the game Monopoly, the board game Monopoly, um, then if we all start at Go, and we have our little pieces, and we each are given 
fifteen hundred dollars, and I think it's the Monopoly money, fifteen hundred Monopoly bucks to start. I think is the starting thing. And nobody has any property. We all start with the same amount of things. Then that's equal opportunity, right? So even if the rules of Monopoly, as we start, are if you land on a space, you can't sit there, right? You have to either move on or purchase it, make it your private property, or move on, right? That if we make that some of the rules of Monopoly, then they, then when you start out, if we start out with equal resources, then that's equal opportunity, right? Make sense so far? So if we implement a, a different rule, well, or that rule, which is basically the sit lie rule, right? Because if you own the property, uh, if you have a permit, even if they don't technically own the public sidewalk, but if they get a permit for the sidewalk cafe to use in conjunction with their private property, their business, then it kind of extends the private property, even though it's still public property, for their use. So then people can still sit and drink on the, on the sidewalk as long as it's in a designated area, okay? They have a protection of private property there. So, if you sit on the sidewalk two inches away from the sidewalk cafe and drink, you're breaking the law. What, why, you know, that, that's, that's an issue. So let's go back to the Monopoly game. If, if we start the, set up the Monopoly board and some people are starting at Go and they don't have any money, they're not given any money to start with, right? And some people are sitting all the way around the board on Boardwalk and they own properties all the way around the board and they have thousands and thousands of Monopoly bucks. And then we say, okay, now we're gonna enact this game. Now we're gonna start this game with these rules and these new rules are, you can't ask for money to help you get around the board. You can't, uh, or you can't ask for money in specific places, you know, where, where you're, it's easier for you to get money they go around the board, and you can't stop anywhere on the on the board without paying a fine. Is that equal opportunity? Like, no, right? So on its face, it seems like there's equal rights. It seems like everyone's rights are being trampled equally, right? Because so it doesn't specifically say, "Hey, you poor people can't." It's not just you poor people that can sit, can't sit or lie down on the sidewalk or ask for money. It's all people can't sit or lie down on the sidewalk or ask for money in specific areas. So that seems like it's an equal assault on everyone's rights. The only problem with that is not everyone is starting at the same place when this game is, when these laws came into action, right? So the game is rigged. So is that equal opportunity? No, it's not. Because some people obviously are, have different levels of affluence, have different levels of physical material wealth. And so when you take, you have to take that into account when you're passing legislation, like, all right, even though the way it's written, it's written, it sounds like at face value, it sounds like it's equal, but it's actually gonna be hitting a certain population more, harder. And that population that's already burdened and struggling, right, the impoverished. So, so yeah, segregation laws. Um, these things are intended and in targeting a specific area to get specific kinds of people uh, out of that specific area. So that only wealthy people or people that want to invest can come and sit down and drink on the sidewalks as long as they're at a sidewalk cafe. So yeah, thoughts and comments. Um, let us know what you think about that. and. Please uh, engage, have have discussion with each other, civil, hopefully, kind, <laughs> peaceful, and uh, you can engage with the page. I'll answer questions. It takes me a while um, to engage sometimes, but you can come on out and find us on the street and have a conversation in person, and you're probably more likely to get more uh, personal information if you if that's what you desire for some reason. Um, from me in person because I try not to make this uh, page about an individual but it's about the ideas, the ideals. So uh, let's discuss the ideas, discuss the ideals, the issues, and 
try not to, uh, the message, you know, try not to get stuck up on the messenger. But let's discuss the message and what's, what's being said, the communication. All right, so you guys have a great day. Peace and love to you and wellness. And Deo Presso Libre.